Hey everyone, welcome back to my study. I want to talk about uh, another idea in this Pastor's Ponderings video series, and I want to talk about the story of the Tower of Babel in Genesis chapter 11, and how I think one of the ways that we can read this story, the story of the Tower of Babel, is as a warning against utopian, uh, utopian political projects, utopian ideologies. And if you remember the story, it's in Genesis chapter 11. Everybody has one language, is the way it begins. They're all kind of on the same page. They talk the same. They, they, they have this kind of, we, we, we think the same, and, and um, we're, we're on the same page, and we're pursuing the same goals. And, and they say, why don't we use our skills, use our technology, in this case their architectural technology, to, uh, to build to build a tower, a tower that's going to go all the way to heaven. We're going to build our way up to heaven, to, 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 to God or to the gods, uh, is the idea. And so um, that's what they start to do. They, they, they use their political efficiency and their unity and their technology to try to build their way up to heaven. And God sees that this is happening, and he says, this is not good. I think that's significant. This is not good. And so he confuses their languages and, and throws this utopian project into, into chaos and it all breaks down. People are not able to build their way up to heaven through their own political efficiency or through their own technological or technical skill. And I think there's a warning in that story. Every time we have a utopian project in history, it turns out to be not so good. And uh, you think about uh, the French Revolution with these great ideals of, of uh, fraternity and equality and everything uh, quickly degenerates into the reign of terror. And, and people's heads are, are rolling in the streets as, as more and more people are brought out to, to the guillotine. Uh, look at um, the Communist Revolution, the, the, the Russian Revolution in the early 20th century. Again, people have these ideals about equality, again, uh, and, and, and utopia and, and the overcoming of class struggles and everybody's going to share in, in the abundance of the world and it's going to be this beautiful uh, sharing and, and, and equal, uh, just and equal sharing uh, of, of everything in the world and, and it's going to be equity and it's going to be imposed equity, imposed by the government and imposed by uh, political uh, power and technical skill. And, um, and of course, communism over, over the course of the 20th century led to uh, the murder of some hundred million innocent people. And many, many of them, of course, in the Soviet Union. As, as uh, millions of Ukrainians were starved to death, as people were sent to gulags, as there were purges, not to mention, of course, uh, political assassinations uh, and, and everything else. Um, you can look at, even going back further, uh, you could make the case, I think, that uh, the Spanish Inquisition had a kind of utopian element to it, that we're going to have a purified Christendom. And you see this in some of the Protestant um, city-states that emerged after the Reformation as well. We're going to get uh, the, the leadership of our community exactly right. It's going to be the laws and the leaders are going to be perfectly Christian. And that might mean we have to burn a few people at the stake, or we have to execute a few people, or torture a few people, uh, but we're going to get that perfect Christian society. We're going to impose it using the state, using political power and efficiency, and uh, we're going to make things just right. Um, Again, it's utopianism, and again, it is not good. Um, in our own day, I think there's a kind of uh, secular um, utopianism that uh, is kind of aligned with uh, sort of a um, progressive political bent with a, an emphasis on social justice, and there are all kinds of ways that this plays out in terms of um, you know, environmental justice or, or, or gender and racial and ethnic uh, justice and equality and righting the wrongs of the past. And, and I think still there's this idea in many people's, in many people's minds and in their educations perhaps that um, if we can just get the right laws, the right people in charge, the right kind of uh, philosophy of, of, of leadership, and, and get everybody on the same page and speak in the same language, then we can fix the world. 
we can we can progress to a point where justice really does uh, roll down like like the water courses because we have got there we have achieved it we have built our way up to utopia to justice to a truly just society and again I think we need to remember the warning of Genesis chapter 11 this is not good it's probably going to end in chaos if, if we're not careful and the reason that utopianism fails every time is because human nature because we are fallen creatures and one thing that doesn't change throughout all of history whether it's the Middle Ages or the French Revolution or the Russian Revolution or today or whether it's ancient or biblical history uh, human nature is the same we are fallen creatures we have this this bent toward self-seeking toward seeking power at the expense of others and we have this amazing ability to rationalize what we do even uh, terrible things that we do because of a cause or because of an ideal or because we have good intentions and we need to remember uh, I think this is the warning uh, that's there in uh, the Tower of Babel story in, in Genesis chapter 11 that the road to hell really is paved with good intentions and we've got to be very cautious indeed about that we've got to remember what kind of creatures we are that we are fallen that we are sinful and that there's really only one source of redemption and it's not from within us it's from beyond us it's from the God who loves us and who sends us help who sends us a savior from uh, beyond our own ability and and he reaches down to us and lifts us up and brings us up and that is Jesus Christ uh, the man of God's own choosing as as the old hymn says um, he is the one who defeats the power of evil he is the one who brings justice he is the one who brings the kingdom of God